This week I come to you from um, Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, family's on vacation and um, you know with vacation comes a lot of challenges. Um, we do get to spend a lot of good times together as a family, uh, but there are parts of our regular routine that goes out the door. And so this morning as I was reading uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, um, the, the scriptures that Paul uses from uh, verse 24 to 27 to talk about uh, the Christian fight and the battles and this comparison to running a race and how you prepare for that and then also this comparison about the boxer in the ring uh, it really struck home because I noticed that I have spent a lot less time this week uh, in my Bible I know I've spent a lot less time praying, but I do see that I do expect the same result. I expect God to continue to grow my faith and continue to do great things. And so I was challenged this morning as I looked at these scriptures, um, and specifically in verse 25, where it says, you know, everyone competes in the game, goes into strict training. And I was really questioning myself, does my training only happen when I'm home? Or do I travel and take it on the road? What, what, how do I see my training every single day? I also looked at and it says, I do not fight like a boxer beating the ear. <laughs> you know, uh, it is very um, obvious that as things get more and more demanding in our life, um, we have a choice, either to get tougher in the way we pray, or to give up on praying. And so I want to call out to each of us this, on this team, that we make it some new goals. You know, as the, the end of the scripture talks about, you know, we all fight for the goal to win the prize. What is the prize that we want to win? in our life when it comes on to prayer. And is that prize something temporary or eternal? As we go out this week, I want us to really pray with the same fight as a boxer, to pray with the same runner as a, an athlete trying to win the race. I love you guys. And continue to do what God has called us to do, to come to an end prayer.